Well, here we have something very nice. A 2008 Auto Sleeper Mazan. With the pop top roof. Absolutely stunning condition. One owner from brand new. Full service history. And it's clearly been his pride and joy and it's been looked after and everything operates and works as it should do and it drives beautiful it's the 1.6 110 hdi engine so plenty of power and with it being the low profile you can park in any normal car parking spaces multi-story car parks you can get under barriers you can drive this on ferries park it in a supermarket car park space basically the same size as a car but obviously you've got the full benefit of a motorhome a massive large double bed i'll just pop the top up now while operating the camera to demonstrate how easy it is so there's the roof down Quite straightforward, little lock catch there, undo the latch, couldn't be any more straightforward, little lock catch there, undo the latch, two handles on either side, but you keep so easy you can push it up, and there we have it. So we'll just do a quick walk around now outside. You have it. Basically, Auto Sleeper decided to take on the small micro campers that are predominantly uh, made by Roma Home. Roma Home do a similar version to this, which is called the High Low. But Auto Sleeper being Auto Sleeper, they've been at the same factory since the 1960s in Gloucestershire, and they've done a super duper job on it. I may say so myself. The roof goes that high that you can stand in, in both sides. Whereas the home, home high low, you can only stand up in the kitchen area. This is high enough to stand all the way back. Pitch nets, fly screens, made to a very high standard. We'll just have a look in the back before we'll have a look in the cab. Full control panel here. Cold water. Wardrobe that goes all the way down to the floor. mains plug you've also got 12 volt as well as an aerial socket there you've also got the external aerial socket here so you can put an aerial outside or a satellite dish link that up there via the aerial lead there and then you can watch your tv inside you just unlatch these and this makes the kitchen area larger so you've got more room for your pots and pans or use it to put the TV on. Similar story on the opposing side. You've got your two burner hob. I'll just put the camera down while I'm, while I'm just lighting the, the hob. And there she goes. As you can see, the two burner hob working beautifully. Hardly looks like it's been used in the whole furnace. It can be turned down or completely turned off as follows. More storage. So 
you've got the grill pan here. There's your grill pan handle, that just clicks on as follows. That doesn't look barely used either. Three way fridge, so you've got the mains and I've got the hookup cable. I haven't got it in the van at the moment, but it has got a main hookup cable. That works perfectly, and I've checked out, and that works on the fridge as well as the freezer. You've got that one that works while you're driving along, that's on 12 volts. You've also got the gas. Very hard to show you the gas, but if I can just perhaps show you the pilot light. Ah, there you go. There you can see the pilot light working beautifully. So you've got the gas. So if you're into wild camping, parking at the side of the road, which this side of size of the van is always all about. You can have your milk on or your beer or wine. In here, this compartment you've got a porta potty. Just comes out as follows. Push the your flush. Again, if you require, I can have a new one of these installed before you uh, take delivery. I can get a good trade price on a new porta potty. I think that's what most people would prefer having a brand new porta potty. We've got the blown cold as well as hot air there. So we'll just demonstrate that. So we just press that on there, that's for heat. That's the thermostat. So put it on high. And there's the rear blown hot air. And I can confirm that's coming out now. That's hot. Or in the summer, just press the cold and that will blow out colder. I'll switch that off now. You can hear that fan. You've got the spotlights there, roof lights, rear lights, basically plenty of lighting. Plenty of fresh air coming through the top blind there, and that zips up. And that's got a midge net on. So you've got the mains there, as well as a separate mains socket down below. Fuse box for your 12 volt circuits, as well as a fuse box for your mains. Fire extinguisher. The front passenger seat folds down into a table with your cup holders. Always handy for extra storage space. The rear has got fitted carpets that are all clipped in that are genuine auto sleeper, but underneath the lino is like new as you would expect. Spur wheel is just in the cover there behind the driver's seat. storage underneath both sides underneath the seats full set of blinds very sturdy very very well made midge nets to both sides of course typical auto sleeper standards so you've got the table which I'll take some pictures of you've also got the bed slats which quite straightforward go in there four in there the two big seats come across in the middle and the side cushions fill the edges so you can have two single beds or a massive double bed and also you've got the leg extender so that will fold out that will fit just along there to make the bed to extend the bed Full set of mats with lino underneath. 
It's the monocog body, all fiberglass. So of course there's absolutely no damp and never will be. We'll just do a quick walk around on the outside. The cab, 48,000 miles. It was last serviced two years ago. It's not done the mileage for the next service, but it is recommended to service these every two years. So I will carry out a full service before delivery. So that will carry on. And that's your full service history maintained. You've got the main master key with remote central locking and immobiliser with alarm. Also a spur key. Starts up on the button as you would expect. No warning lights. You've got the remote audio control there, so I'm controlling the audio from the steering wheel as well as tuning. And lo and behold. I can confirm it's blowing icy cold. It's a very hot day today in North Wales and that's coming in a treat. Electric windows, power steering, it's never been smoked in. Two sets of 12 volt supplies. Another cup holder. So you've got three cup holders in the front. We'll have a quick look under the bonnet. We'll have a quick look at the paperwork. CD player. We've got electric mirror. Passenger mirror. A driver's mirror you can just manually adjust from here. Quite straightforward. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet and then we'll have a look at the paperwork. So it's the 1.6 HDI, this is the 110 brake horsepower and after driving it the other day for 200 miles I can confirm there's plenty of brake horsepower and you'll not need anything extra. It's had a recent platinum upgrade new battery fitted. So all in all a very very nice desirable example. One owner, full service history, it will have a new service before delivery. I'll bring it, demonstrate everything working before any money is asked for. If you're happy with it, all I ask is for a lift to the nearest train station. It can't be any further than that. It's just been MOT'd. So a full MOT, wanting for nothing other than a new owner. As I say, I'm quite happy to deliver anywhere in the United Kingdom, free of charge. Why take a gamble elsewhere? I'll bring it to you and fully demonstrate everything working.